Okay, so point number four, how to add swiper effects to Elementor tabs. So what does that mean? So let's consider you have a lot of tabs like we have here, like for instance, 15 of them. So when you have that many, they're not gonna fit in all at once here on the page. So what we can do is to use a swiper effect. So basically if you grab it, you can swipe it, you know, as you can see here, this is the effect basically. So how can you apply this? Well, very easily. If you scroll down, we go to layout and in the layout section, we have swiper effect. So if I disable this, you're gonna see immediately what it looks like without it. So there you go, as you can see now, all the 15 icons are being displayed here. So clearly that doesn't look professional at all. So for this, we enable the swiper effect. So let's switch that on and then you can select the mode and enable loop as well. So if you enable the loop, for instance, well, basically you can loop infinitely, you know, so basically you can keep swiping and it will come back to the first item constantly. And then you can select the mode. So we have swipe and slide. So what's the difference between the two? Why it's a very slight difference, you know, so let me show this to you. So we won't be able to discover this in the back end. You have to display this in the front end to see the difference. So let's discover swipe first. So let's click on preview. So there it is, as you can see, and I can grab it and I can slide it. We have the loop enabled as well, so it's an infinite loop. Now, if I click on any of those items, if I click on this one, as you can see, it remains there, you know, if I click on Facebook, if I click on this one, maybe dribble here, I come back here to LinkedIn. So basically they remain where they actually are, okay? Now, if we enable slide, then let's have a quick preview. So again, we have the infinite loop enabled. Now, if I click on any of those items, if I click on Facebook, for instance, as you can see, this is centered in the middle. If I click on dribble, it'll be centered in the middle. If I click on this one here, it will be centered in the middle. So that's the only difference between the two.